Hey guys, Ashley here, and welcome back to our Disney Tsum Tsum Advent Calendar. And Merry Christmas, everyone! Um, I hope you are all having a great Christmas so far, or have had one, depending on when you're watching this. Today we'll be doing days 23 and 24 and finishing out the Advent Calendar. And either later today or tomorrow I will recap everything we got. Um, so, yeah. I'm actually getting to this a lot sooner than I thought I would today because everyone just sort of came and went earlier in the morning than I expected. I kind of thought everyone was coming more towards the afternoon, but it ended up being kind of a morning thing, which I just didn't expect that. But anyway, it's already quieted down here, and I thought I would go ahead and finish out the advent calendar. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Of course, we'll be doing day 23 first. I'm thinking there might be a Tsum Tsum behind this door because of the size. And there is. We have Rapunzel, it looks like. If I can get her out, she is stuck. There we go. Yeah, Rapunzel. Let me just get her open over here. There we go. So there's Rapunzel. She's really cute. They put her Disney stamp in a weird place, though. But there she is. You can see her little eyelashes. One of her eyebrows is visible. The other is covered by her hair, which has these nice little flower details. And these aren't just painted flowers either. These are actually sculpted right into the hair. And the hair's actually got some, like, wavy sculpt to it and everything, which is really cool. And the dress is, like, all kind of, like, one sculpt. There's, like, there's no difference in size from one shade to the other or anything. Of course, you can see her little, like, under skirt part. I love the way that they did her dress in the like the different shades of purple and everything, which to my memory from watching Tangled, and I've actually only seen that, that movie once. It was all right. Not one of my favorites, but I did enjoy it. Um, that is an accurate dress. I really like how she looks. I love how they did her hair and curved it along the side like that, so that is really cool. So there we go. Where are we going to set her? We'll set her right there so you guys can see her. Okay, so what do we have for our last day? Day 24, which was actually yesterday. Oh, oh, we got Dumbo. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, let me get him open. I don't even need scissors because the antlers will poke right through. So we'll look at the antlers first because they're the same as all the other antlers. Just green and then the gold bells and then the actual antler part. This one actually is the only one I've got that's got any mess up on it. If you look, this antler right here has pl has places where it was not fully painted. But I think, yeah, from this side it doesn't matter. So that's just on the back. So I'll just put it on him like this and it won't matter at all. Um, I wish that these reins had actually connected properly to the sleigh in some way. But unfortunately they don't. But anyway, here's Dumbo. And he is super cute. I love Dumbo. It's one of my favorite classic Disney movies. One of Elise's favorite classic Disney movies. Um, so he's in this nice little light, sort of pastel-y, like, blue. A little pink in the ears. He's got his... And this is actually, like, a different... Like, the way that this is molded, that's not just painted on. You can kind of feel it, it like, it's a bit lower, almost. I don't know how to describe that. But just sort of sculpted into it. And so he's got his red and yellow collar. I guess that would be called a collar. And his little hat is molded right on there. His little trunk is so cute. Then his eyes. And he actually does have like a little bit of blushing on his cheeks. I don't think I've noticed that in any of the other like animal ones we have, have I? Maybe it's because he's a circus elephant. That is really cool. And of course there's a Tsum Tsum info. And you can see right down here's where the copyright is on him for Disney. You can't even see it because it's just like molded on. She's actually got a Disney stamp right on the bottom of her face. So let's go ahead and put the antlers on. I don't even think these are his antlers, are they? No, his are this one. But that's okay. Whose antlers are these then? I have no idea whose antlers are these. Oh, oh, they're uh, Sven's antlers. That's right. Because he didn't actually come with the... Did he come with the sleigh? No, no, he didn't come with the sleigh. He didn't actually come with the reins piece. He came with the antlers. That's right. Okay, so 
Yeah, there's Dumbo with his antlers on. <laughs> Look at his little tail. That's sculpted as well. Wow, this is really cool. So I absolutely love, 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 love Zoom Zoom. I don't know which one to say my favorite is. I missed one, didn't I? Yeah, I did. There's Zero. I forgot to bring him down here. Um, Actually, he had antlers too, didn't he? Yes, I think he did have antlers, and then the alien was the other one that came with the reins piece. But, um, so that's interesting. How many big Zoom Zooms did we get? One, two, three, four, five. We got six big ones, and we got... Looks like we got six big ones, six medium ones, and six small ones. Cool. So we got a lot of Zoom Zooms in this calendar. I kind of thought it would be a bit more accessory heavy, and I'm actually happy that it was, like, a good number of Zoom Zooms. I also expected that it was going to end up being, like, a lot of newer characters who I wasn't as familiar with. But I think we got a pretty good balance of new and older characters. Uh, I suppose in one way you could almost say we got more older characters, depending on what you consider characters like Lilo and Stitch, if you consider them older or newer. I would consider them older, because the movie came out when I was little. And then, like, with Sully, for example, they had... You could say that he's from Monsters, Inc., or you could easily say he's from Monsters University, so... So you can kind of say it's an even number of old and new ones, or you could say it was kind of outweighed by the older ones. Personally, I'm happy that I got a lot of older characters that I'm familiar with, and I love these little Santa, Mickey, and Minis. I don't know if I ever pointed this out during the video, but they have these little stars on the side of them, which I think might be to mark them as exclusives of this calendar. Which is really cool. There was also another Tsum Tsum calendar I found out that was, like, with, like, the Disney characters that was uh, exclusive to Target. And then, yeah, another one that was actually a Marvel Tsum Tsum calendar. So that that's pretty cool. I didn't know about either of those. I did enjoy this calendar, though, overall. I like, I, I just like everything we got. And I'm definitely going to leave some of this out on my desk after I put everything away. I don't know who's going to stay out and who's going to go into the uh, storage container yet, but I'll figure it out. I actually need to reorganize this because I just kind of threw everyone back in there after the day I spilled everyone. To that effect, I actually didn't even remember to put Angel away. She's still, like, right here. She's from... I don't remember if she was in any of the Stitch movies, but she was definitely in the cartoon. Definitely remember her being in, like, the TV series cartoon. Okay, so before I end up rambling too much, and this becomes the recap video, I hope you all enjoyed this this video. And if you did, I hope to see you again for whatever comes next. And I hope you have all had a great Christmas. And if you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you have all just had a great day. Uh, so yeah, thanks everyone. Bye, Merry Christmas.